Hello friends, I'm your instructor Imran and today we're going to talk about the navigation in the Flutter. So in the Flutter, there are two type of navigations. The first one is the name route and the second one is the pushing routes explicitly. So pushing route is a little bit difficult and building the logic and the sharing the logic becomes more difficult. So now uh, today I'm going to talk about the naming route and we are going to make a class where we put all the routes at one stage and then we will move and we will share the logic whenever we will need to pass an argument whenever we are going to send something from one page to another page whenever we are going to move from one page to another page then it becomes more easy and more efficiently now when you learn uh, when you watch this video so if you are new here Please subscribe this channel, press the bell icon and like this video. So let's go. I have just created here a main dot dot file and you can see here a main page and then a class of my app that you can already build and then this is just like the material app and a home page. And what I have done in the home page, there is a scaffold in the body in the center, the text button is a text and then on press functionality of this text button. You will see there's a home page and we are going to perform some operations here then you will see here the second page and then you will see here the third page okay so now uh, what i'm going to make i'm going to make a new file here and i'm going to put the name as the my routes or the custom routes whatever you will need you can do it so after this i'm going to create here a class named as a class and i'm going to put here the my routes okay or the custom route it's up to you so now uh, don't use it as a router uh, because uh, router also a built-in class in the flutter so you have to use the prefix for this so that's why I'm not going to recommend it for you so I'm going to put here the my router here let me put here the uh, perfect spelling for this so my router uh, my routes let me put this name now uh, what I'm going to make here, I'm going to make it a function, uh, that function named as a uh, generate route. So let me put here the generate route function here. So this generate route function uh, needs one argument. Let me put here one argument as a route settings. Uh, it's route setting. So let me put a route setting and then putting here as a object of this one. So route setting so this route setting is come on the android ios or whatever you will need so because i'm working specifically here the material dot dot on the android so i'm going to put here the material or you can use in the ios well as too with the same line of course so now this route function uh needs uh something like um, uh it needs one uh type of this function so we're going to define as a type as a route and this route should be a dynamic so now, uh, it, I'm going to call a static here so that I'm going to call this function without creating the object of this class. So this route generate route function, uh, it needs something return because it's a route. So I'm going to uh, return one route that is a material page route. Okay, so this material page route needs to build something. So I'm going to put a build here. So scaffold, putting the body here, putting the putting the text here and this text needs something like no route defined perfect so let me use this one and now what I'm going to put here I'm going to make a one uh, like a switch case statement here for you so this is switch case statement that it needs a settings so settings dot uh, name okay perfect now uh, what is the name of our setting first one is the home route that I'm going to put here the forward slash and how it will work so I'm going to put here the return if there's a forward slash like that just like the initial route okay so I'm going to put here the material page route and this material page route needs to build something so let's build and I'm going to put here the home page as a initial route perfect now uh, let me remove it so that it will be in one line so going to copy it and going to paste it here going to paste it again 
uh, going to paste it again perfect now the second one is the second page and third one is the third page so it's up to you you can write any name here but using the forward slash now I'm going to put here the second page that is our second page and here this is our third page that you can see oh um, uh, the second page uh, it I'm just putting here one as a data I'm going to remove all these things and you can see everything's working perfectly now okay perfect now uh, you will see that we have our route here and uh, we are going to pass the values here the home page second page and third page now uh, this material app have one uh, built-in property that name is on the rate route and I'm going to call here the my routes dot generate route perfect I'm not going to use this one because it's uh, it will ultimately handle the things but okay perfect now everything is looking fine I'm not going to use this home page for now because I'm going to put here the initial route as a uh, this one let's restart this application it should show the home page for us because uh, we are going to change something here as the initial route as a home so that's why I'm going to restart my application so um, mm -mm, it's restarted and uh, it's I think so it's not restarted completely so let me check it is there an issue or not so let me uh, remove all the console and let's restart it so our application restarted in 4.580 millisecond and now and this is the initial route here and I have a solution for this uh, let me do this before uh, going to move toward the second solution uh, maybe when we are putting this one and I have to move somewhere uh, this should not remember or maybe some spelling mistake so what I'm going to make here I have another solution and that solution is more better for this and I'm going to create the constants dot dot file and this dot file needs of uh, one a variable I'm going to create here and the first one is the home page and this home page is just like the, this one that we have created before it should be a constant because it doesn't need to be changed so I'm going to copy it paste it three or four times it's up to you it depends on your uh, uh, it depends upon your pages or your screens that you are going to create and I'm going to put it a second here I'm going to put here the third page and going to put here the third here also so that's it now uh, what I'm going to I'm going then I'm going to the my routes dot dot file and I'm not going to use this one because I'm just going to put here the case as the first case as the home page second one is the second page because it's automatically calling the values from the constants dot dot file and then I'm going to put here the third page here in a perfect way now I'm going to the main dot dot file I'm not using this one I'm going to put here the home page that's it now let's go to the uh, home page dot dot file and I'm going to put here navigation from the screen to another screen so I'm simply call here navigator dot push named and the name is our uh, second page that's it and this way you can use it now the problem is that uh, the problem is that uh, maybe you have a question so this is a problem you have a question that you have to pass some arguments in this uh, pushing method in this navigation method so I'm just putting here the comma here and I'm going to call here the arguments and arguments is just like uh, whatever I'm going to call pass from second screen uh, this is the uh, data uh, like, like I'm putting here from uh, home page so I'm going to call here the from home page and now uh, uh, this is I'm going to call here the second page as an argument as a uh, like argument the from home page now I'm going to go to second page and I'm going to use here like uh, this one as a string as a data and the second page as uh, like this is a constructor that I'm going to pass the values and I'm using this data here uh, here in this way now it's so the problem here it was an error here the second page now it needs like constructor should must a uh, one function because we're calling one one variable or one things that it needs so what I'm going to put here firstly I'm going to call here the var as a uh, data 
or the whatever you will see here I am putting here a D as a I'm going to call here the arguments let me call here the uh, I'm let me call here the I think so we have to call here the settings dot arguments as string because we are working with a string okay so you can call here the list or the map or whatever you will need because we are passing the data as a, a string so that's why I'm going to call here simply the uh, sorry, where is it? This one. Yeah, 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 this one. Okay, perfect. We have to call here the string. So now this, I'm going to call here the D. Perfect way. Now, let's restart this application and let's see is it working fine or not. So, um, our application has been restarted. Let's click on this home page and you will see second page from home page so some data is coming from the home page also so you will see in the second page in this way so that's it so this is working perfectly hope so you guys like this video so please watch it subscribe it and press the bell icon